Cubot, it's me. So we just watched the Chicago White Sox versus Toronto Blue Jays second game of the series, and uh, after they won last night, I was like, okay, let's go on a winning streak. We're gonna chart, get a bunch of games in a row. We're gonna win a bunch of games in a row, and that was not the case. As the five to two was the final score, um, kind of seems like they're they don't have the confidence they had, or they're trying too hard. And they get themselves down where before, like, earlier in the season, it was like a lot of slugfests. And now it's kind of more playoff baseball. The hits are harder to come. Mind you, this is baseball. So, like, if they miss by a split second or they're hit, they had a lot of good at-bats tonight. And they're hitting the ball well, but a lot of times right at people. But, uh, so let's start Barrios. Um, I don't know what his case is since he came to the Blue Jays. His first start was good. And usually Pete Walker has a thing of where he can... Um, get the most out of people or like tweak them a bit and uh, kind of up them. I don't know if that's the case so much here. This may be the one time where Pete Walker can't do his magic or I don't know or like have they even had, has he been trying to change the way Berrios' approach is and everything like that or they're just waiting to see and then he's going to do that maybe. And I felt like he started rolling along uh, the last two, uh, the third and fourth inning and then they took him out which I don't know but then uh, Thornton did okay. Got to give it to Overton. He pitched some great innings there and some great defense by the Blue Jays too, like um, Hernandez with that throw out at the guy at third and then that new guy uh, throwing the guy out at home. Gurriel with the gun at second. I wish Gurriel would have done that the last game where he missed the guy by a kilometer trying to throw him out at home. But there was some good defense and I feel like after that first inning when it was 4 to nothing, I feel like even the fans were like, already giving up like it's already over and the Blue Jays were almost like you know like it was too high of a mountain to climb for them but um, there was some good stuff there it got to uh, Alexander Kirk has been one of their best hitters he was really good before he got injured and then it took him a time to get back into it I think he's seen the ball really well now Lourdes Gurriel another good game and um, not just defense but also uh, putting the ball in play the way he should there was a, a bunch of stuff there. That eighth inning was pretty weird. Um, they kind of, like, the fans start to cheer once they they have a chance. But it's like, come on, why don't you cheer before that? Like, a playoff atmosphere. Like, let's get going here. Like, But once they got a bunch of people on base in the eighth, I was like, here we go. We got a chance still because it's only the eighth. And then uh, they bring him the closer, Hendricks. And I was like, okay, well, that might be too early. But... Blue Jays have been hitting a lot of double plays recently, I noticed that. Um, it seems like the last couple games, there's just been so many double plays. They're hitting the ball hard, but it's just right on the ground. And then because it's so hard, it's easy to turn the double play. So uh, Vladdy comes up with the bases loaded against the closer, one out. And now the fans go crazy, which they should there. But I, I, I'm not dissing the fans. I'm trying not to diss the fans. It's just like if I went to a Blue Jays game, I would be trying to cheer them and cheer them on as much as I could. Um, but then he gets into the double play, the tying run at the plate. But then in the ninth, um, well, let's talk, talk about Brad Hand. I feel like I'm done with Brad Hand. He's not horrible, but he did walk in that run one time uh, to cost us the game. And then he hasn't been great. He wasn't great here, but he, he got through it without giving up any runs. And then in the ninth, they start to um, kind of start getting something going here. And I don't know what the thing with the choking up in the bat is. So in the comments, if you know what that's about, like uh, Dickerson, uh, like how is he's choking up on the bat. And it's weird because they said he didn't have a lot of power. He only had three home runs all season. Now he already has two with the Blue Jays. So he's kind of finding his stroke. But I guess choking up on the bat just makes you get contact. And I was like, wow, because they said uh, Hendricks is high pitch count for the uh, year was 34 pitches. And I was like, he's battling them. And he was... You know, I was like, this might work out good. And the same with Gurriel. He was down 0-2, and he, he kept battling, kept battling, kept battling, and then he put the ball in play, and he got it lucky through there, and then uh, just couldn't get done. But I my surprise was that new guy uh, from center field. His name escapes me at this, at this moment. I'm a little bit amped up. But um, he made a good play in the outfield, but he had struck out three times. Why not bring in Gritchick or even McGuire, who's been hitting pretty good all season? But Gritchick... Man, I feel like other teams he'd be an everyday player. I actually voted him over Teoscar Hernandez for the All-Star team because he was second in RBIs on the team, and he had, like, I don't know at the All-Star rate, probably 15 home runs, and maybe he just, they needed a day off. But Gritchick, I feel like other teams would be 
uh, playing him more than the Blue Jays would, but he's been so good, and he might be the most underrated player of the team. So I kind of would have pinch hit there. And then Espinal, a really good at bat as well, but they just couldn't get it done. It just seems like, um, you know, all season, earlier in the season they were playing so well, but now when it matters the most, they're just, uh, they're getting down. On, you can tell they're frustrated more than they were. But let me know, this is uh, my review. This is the game highlights that I could think of. I had a lot more to talk about, but I thought I'd just wing it. So let me know uh, what you thought of the game, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cuba!